<laughs> I'm in the car with five six-year-olds on the way home from a long birthday party day at Universal Studios. Suddenly, everybody you know starts texting, did you see what Trump said about you all at once? And then the kids start asking, what did Donald Trump say about you? Well, kids, what the former president of the United States said about me and Stephen Colbert and all the late night hosts, I guess, is this. These losers are dying. They are bad for our country, which is in serious decline. Nobody wants to watch this negativity anymore. There's nothing funny about them. They're highly overpaid, easily replaceable fools. <laughs> and yet, unlike you, we still have our jobs. So it's... One week later. Breaking news overnight, Hollywood writers going on strike, bringing many productions to an immediate stop, including some of the biggest shows on TV. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is in Los Angeles with more. This morning, the Hollywood juggernaut grinding to a halt. The Writers Guild telling its members to prepare to start picketing this afternoon after the union and an association of media companies failed to agree to new contract terms. The first to feel the effects of this strike, late night comedy shows like ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live. What? The first to feel the effects of this strike, late night comedy shows like ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> There's nothing funny about them. They're highly overpaid, easily replaceable fools. And yet, unlike you, we still have our jobs. That's not entirely accurate. Talk about your all-time backfires. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 